we definitely have something that if you're down and you're sad, that's a couple you want to be around. They just lift their spirit. They make you laugh, they laugh at every joke you throw at them. It's great. They're easy. And so I just want to thank them for allowing me and my wife to walk with me in counseling. It's been an amazing experience for us. And I have no doubt that God is going to use you too for his glory. Um, I want to read a scripture in Ephesians 5, verses 25 through 33. He says, Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her, that he might sanctify her, having cleansed her by the washing of water with the word, so that he might present the church to himself in splendor without spot or wrinkle or any such thing, that she might be holy and without blemish. In the same way, husbands should love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. For no one ever hated his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it, just as Christ does the church, because we are members of his body. Therefore, man shall leave his father and mother and go back to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This mystery is profound, and I am saying that it refers to Christ and the church. However, let each one of you love his wife as himself, and let the wife see that she respects husband. Of course, marriage, uh, a lot of people don't think of marriage as being momentary, but it is. Uh, something that we don't think about at times, that when we go to see our maker, we come as one bride to our husband. So ultimately, the purpose of marriage is to reflect God and his character to his church. What we see, the union between one man and one woman represents the God that we serve and us being his bride, one day being united, in which no man can ever separate or we'll find a day in eternity, that there's a day in eternity, we'll, be, we'll have that time where we'll never be separated from him, we'll always be with him. 